This is a Samsung 48 inch smart TV. I'm trying to save it from going to the landfill and here you can see I have opened up the screws. The reported problem is that it is dead and to my horror when I opened it I found this pen inside. So whoever tried to repair it forgot the pen inside when they closed it back. It looks like the fuse had blown because I see the remnants of the first uh, wire that was soldered and is melted and you can see the black marks there, charred marks and later when that melted they have put more wire, some more uh, strands and then soldered or twisted and then even that I think blew so they assumed something is shorted which is correct but the assumption here is they assume that this is a capacitor and uh, realize that it is showing low ohmic value and this device is not a capacitor it is a thermistor it is supposed to show low ohmic value so they clip the lead here and chances are this must have chipped because of heat but the device is still working so because of the chipping maybe it was at manufacture time i'm not sure because i didn't see any remnants of the broken part when i opened the television so because of that they assumed and then clipped it off here and then measured perhaps with a multimeter and assumed oh this device is shorted at least if they had clipped normally when we repair anything we don't clip it at this end we either try to desolder it here or we try to clip it at this end so that in case we need to reuse it we can again solder it back by clipping it here we are actually destroying as you can see this is the 4400852 power supply board from the Samsung uh, television I soldered it back because this device is still working well this was the original fuse that was there bus fuse with a pigtail so I just replaced it with a regular fuse the same uh, specifications the same ratings but I just cut the pigtail and then soldered it back by isolating different components you can see here I had earlier isolated the AC1 lead as well but I have now soldered it back I have still isolated the positive uh, lead uh, eventually I'm going to solder it back so this rectifier is good so again downstream I went checking everywhere by isolating some of the components including this capacitor uh, because it was showing a dead shot between positive and negative so the usual suspects I isolated this capacitor positive lead I had isolated and now it's soldered back even this capacitor I had isolated and some of the jumpers I had removed and now everything is soldered back so the culprit it appears is not this but uh, it's two MOSFETs driving this two MOSFETs driving this transformer you can see a little slightly burnt mark here but because MOSFETs are on the other side and I used a heat gun to remove it now here is the reverse of this board and this is where the two MOSFETs were and as you can see I have removed the MOSFETs so it's essentially a gate tab is drain and then uh, source likewise gate drain and source and those MOSFETs are here so one uh, came here and the other one came there so this is how it was mounted I removed those both are shorted there is uh, complete electrical conduction between uh, gate drain and source both ways so and I have ordered these MOSFETs waiting for them to arrive once they arrive I'm going to solder it and then see if there's any other fault these MOSFETs are 50 or 380 50 or 380 not very expensive I ordered it from DigiKey each is about a uh, dollar eighty, but then shipping is eight uh, eight dollars. 
the mosfets arrived just now when you order these just be careful the msl is 3 that means you need to use it uh, as soon as possible otherwise store it safely otherwise you'll have to bake it and then use it just a close up of the mosfets and its original packaging the new mosfets are now soldered so those are in place the tv is now repaired and working it's a 2016 television, so it's a little slow. I guess the processor is slower than the more uh, expensive and current versions of this TV. Anyway, thanks for watching.